Having that mindset that status quo is not good enough, we need to cater, you know, be flexible, cater for different needs of our employees, and let's just start doing something rather than talking about it. Let's start doing something. If need be, start in small steps, you know, mitigate our risk. But hopefully, with with you know, with time, this should help. I think one of the greatest tools is education, the right of education for the girl child. We have to start with that. But I would also say we need education for the boys. To actually start mm -hmm. respecting the other gender as kids, mm -hmm. and we need our older men in society to start role modelling the right behaviours, so that younger men, when they look at older men, particularly in senior leadership positions, say that's the right thing to do for a fair and equitable society. And we shouldn't have prescriptions of a woman's place in the world. We shouldn't have prescriptions of how a woman should dress or behave, because ultimately, what we have to get is choice for the woman herself. It is empowering them. It is standing up. It is speaking out. It is stepping forward, and to do all the right things simply because it is the right thing to do. To make it happen and to make the world a freer and more equitable place, and everyone should be able to make their own decisions for themselves. No one should tell you otherwise. The most inspiring women, persons I've met, and the most inspiring leaders I've met were mostly women, and not women in CEO positions, but women who were struggling to survive, to keep their families alive, to feed their children, to give their children a better future. And I think if we really want to reform the world, and if we want to have a global transformation, we have to rely on all these women, and they are the cornerstones. And I really have faith in them. Thank you.